One of the more frequent questions I get asked is about the difference between the different Azure Stack product. You have Azure Stack Hub, Azure Stack HCI, Azure Stack Edge. And obviously there is some overlap and some customers are fixating on one of them and say, this is the one I want. And then we're gonna have to tell them, yeah, my, you might be better served with this other one. And even though we're trying with webinars and other resources to explain the differences, it seems to be a concept that is hard to grasp. And so today I want to share a quick analogy that I hope helps you. And if you work with customers, helps you educate the customers. And if you are one of our customers, helps you to understand why there are different products. If we look at hammers, hammers come in a variety of form factors, sizes. You have a sledgehammer, big, massive, great, cool tool. If you have to demolish your wall or put in like fence poles, you have a rubber mullet, which is kind of a hammer. Maybe a mullet is officially not a hammer. I'm not a hammer specialist, but to me, it's a hammer. And then you have a general purpose hammer that you will find probably in most households. Now, let's assume your wife asks you to hang up that picture. So you're gonna get a nail and you're gonna put the nail into the wall to hang up that lightweight pictures. Of course, you can try the sledgehammer. Not sure it's a good idea. If you miss, there might be a hole in the wall or I don't know, you break a finger. You could use the rubber mallet, but it's also not really made. It might work, but it's really not made for that purpose. Or you can take the right tool for the job and take the general purpose hammer. Now, if we look at the Azure Stack family, you have Azure Stack HCI. Azure Stack HCI is the general purpose hammer. It's what is gonna be for most use cases. It can apply to the most different use cases. It's the most handy thing to have. Now, if you have a specialized thing, and let's say you have to demolish a house or you have to really build that fence and put those poles into the ground, then you're better off with the sledgehammer. And in our case, with Azure Stack Hub, that really comes to shine in some very specialized areas of this connectivity. Because you're out in the desert on a boat, or maybe it's an air-gapped thing inside your network that nobody else should have access to. And then Azure Stack Hub becomes a great way to use. But it's built for that purpose. Yes, it runs servers just like the other one. Just like all the hammers can smash things, there is still a purpose why they're different and the use cases that they fulfill. And if we look at Azure Stack Edge, that's kind of like a rubber mallet compared to the general purpose hammer. I could have used the rubber mallet to put in that nail, but there is still a thing where the rubber mallet is way more fitting to be used. And in our case, Azure Stack Edge really shines with these Edge AI, ML workloads, IoT, things, etc. And so it builds off of HCI. It's smaller form factor, right? It's not that heavy, big thing, but it's still very specialized. And so if you're not sure if you need that specialized thing or you're not sure you need to drive in these big fence poles, then your best purpose is to go with that general purpose technology like Azure Stack HCI. And it's not better to just go with specialized. I have a tendency to go with specialized, made some bad purchase decisions in my life. But when it came to the hammer, surprisingly, I didn't make that mistake. I didn't go to the store and bought me as the one and single hammer a sledgehammer. I actually bought the general purpose hammer. Later, I bought the mullet to work on my bike when I changed the crank set. The sledgehammer was the leftover that the previous owner left in the yard shed. And so I have it now. But I haven't used it yet. And with that, D-Dev Kurt out.